let it go. It doesn't have to be some extremely bad situation. It can just be, you don't want that, so say no. And the quicker you say no, the quicker the right things come into your life, okay? Just say no to what isn't working and bring into your life what is. And sometimes this is a little tough to create boundaries. We talked about that before, tough love. You know, tough love can be good to create boundaries and spaces where you want to be boundaryless, but it's good. It helps you focus in and appreciate those who really are very lovely in your life and to release and to let go of those who maybe need to do a little bit more work, but that, ain't, that don't have nothing to do with you and they make it be about you, but it has nothing to do with you. Let them, let them go. I'm going to do their work on their own. Okay. Good job. Now, bringing back into this beautiful, healthy love, start to notice the people in your life that have those same qualities and why you love them so much. Understand your dynamics with them. Why is it that it works so well? and start to lean into that energy more. Start to ask the universe to bring you those types of examples of love, okay? Romantic, friends, family, all of those things, all of those things, all of those things, all of those things. And let's just pull this energy into you, okay, sweetness? energy into you and surround yourself now see each person that brings and represents this beautiful love surrounding you and as you take a breath allow new people that you have yet to meet allow them to fill in this space too exhale you deserve it you're worth it yes 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 Yes, 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 yes. Yes, 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 you got it. Good job. Good job. Good job. Good job. Good job.
Shut down. 
something that 
because they remind us of this moment. They slow time down. Because there's going to be a certain point in our lives where we start to hope time doesn't move so fast. <laughs> but right now, especially when you're young or when you're trying to establish something, you want it to quickly move, you know, so you can get there and enjoy, not realizing that the enjoyment is now in this moment, being able to breathe, being able to move, to think, to feel, that's the true joy. We might flow all around the universe. universe looking for great meaning or <laughs> flow all around trying to simplify things that are complex we don't understand or whatever just to find out that the only thing that truly matters is just our existence so the fact that you exist right now is the only thing that really matters the fact that you're breathing right now is the only thing that really matters. Just that act within itself is pretty amazing. It's a moment of celebration. A celebrate. <laughs> Just a moment of celebration. Can you fall in love with the fact that you are breathing? Isn't that trippy? No psychedelics included.
these ways.
feeling that 
so we're going to just remove just remove just remove any guilt any guilt any guilt just remove any guilt any guilt associated with you deserving love you deserve it you go in love. 
was feeling a, a, a sense of like loneliness and, and extreme separation from anyone from, from being able to connect and sometimes you can get to a space in love where things did not go the way that you wanted to kind of time and time again and you start to just feel more and more connected now the way you feel versus what is actual reality is two different things so I'm going to read the energy again because I read based off of what you're feeling but I want to read again based off of what is actually happening okay because sometimes we feel like our feelings are reality even when the days are good you know we'd be skipping down the street ah, you know can't nothing mess with you but then the days are bad you're like oh everything's always like this so I want to read for what it actually is versus what the feeling is okay so take a deep breath again exhale Um, 
deserve to be taken care of and to be cared for. You deserve all of those things. And you have to believe that. And you have to take responsibility to believe that. Do not believe that someone's going to just come over here and, and, and show you how to love yourself. I cannot stand all those movies that are out there that has somebody come and show you how to love yourself, baby. That you know what that tells me? That tells me that the person is not looking for a partner. They're looking for a parent. <laughs> That's what it tells me. You want a partner, not a parent. Okay, because whenever something else new happens in life, you're going to be looking at them they're like, like a deer in the headlights, like, figure this out too. No, don't, don't try to save nobody and don't feel like you need to be saved. Be two old people coming together. Dizzy, dizzy. <laughs> So just removing that last bit of guilt and just cleansing so this energy, okay? So I thought it was really fitting to talk about how to unlearn self-sabotaging in love because I think that love and how we connect on an emotional level to people is a very much so internal journey. And you can't really look at someone and tell how things are going, you know, on the outside um, or how things are going on the inside based off of what is happening on the outside. And I think that there are a lot of things, especially when you're growing up, that may send that message to you that indicates that, you know, focus on the outside, external beauty or what you have or who you know and, you know, things like that, when really the work that needs to happen happens on the inside first and then it creates the outside that we want or honestly we connect better and the outside just happens it's kind of like an added bonus so let's go ahead and work through that so as we start our session we start our session off with a prayer it is not a religious prayer just to pray to root us in our individual healing experience and bring us together as a community as a collective and because consent matters to have your permission to say a prayer okay babies let's go Dear universe and offer the highest vibrational good only, please connect us to our highest intention and validate information from our highest self only. Please allow us to let go of the things that we need to let go and embrace the things that allow us to grow. Let our journey encompass the lineages, traditions, religions, and spiritual paths that bring light out through us to share with others. I say all of this in the name of I am Ashe, Ashe, Ashe. Okay. As I'm working, we'll just talk through what's going on, okay? So unlearning these love habits, first and foremost. Love can be romantic, it can be plutonic, it can be in your family, you know? Um, and a lot of the ways that we love, it looks very similar across the board. So for whatever reason, you know, um, how love is showing up in your life, it's okay, you know? It's okay, whatever area that is. It all applies. Once you get it in one area, it kind of works itself out in the rest. Or you start to make peace with your understanding of things. Um, I talk about all the time, especially when it comes to like family and things. Um, you're more likely to have romantic and plutonic uh, connections change quicker than family. Families, you got a whole system, <laughs> a whole family dynamic um, that goes on. So I say that to say sometimes the answer is you can work through things. Other times the answer is you just find a sense of peace um, and understanding uh, for these things. And it's okay. There's no like one way that everything has to fit together, babies. It's okay. So with this unlearning self sabotage in love, let's just start to pull out some of the old stuff, okay? There's so much old stuff that's being carried around. Desires, fears, you know, interests that don't even belong you. Now, some things are a legacy. Nothing wrong with that. But other things we learned how to adopt and adapt to because we wanted to be a part of something. Be connected to not disappoint or whatever that is, you know. 
for those 